Trying to better your mind and body isn't just about working out. It's about the little healthy habits you can implement into your everyday life because small changes can make a big difference. So for starters, making your bed. This gives you a sense of achievement and sets a positive tone for the rest of your day. Now before you do anything else, drink a glass of water. Even better if you can add lemon or lime. This is such an effective way to stimulate the metabolism and it also gives the body the antioxidants it needs to rejuvenate your skin and help keep your body free from infections. Since I am a coffee drinker, I try and do it in the healthiest way possible, using all organic beans, seed oil free nut milk, and an all natural sweetener like organic honey. Something that I think is so important to giving yourself a healthy, clear, and peaceful mind is spending the first few minutes of your day outside with yourself. No phone, just your thoughts. Think about what you're thankful for, embrace your surroundings, ground yourself, plan out your goals for the day. Giving yourself this time outside with thoughts and prayers and meditation has so many health benefits. The next thing on the to-do list is taking my vitamins and supplements. I recently got my hair tested and found out so many things like I was high in mercury and plastics, deficient in B12 and potassium, and now I'm able to take the supplements that are most beneficial to my body. If I had any advice for you, I would heavily urge you to get tested in what kind of vitamins you're deficient in. I also do my best to drink out of glass water bottles to avoid absorbing any more microplastics than the normal human already does. When it comes to toothpaste and deodorant, people need to realize that our bodies absorb every chemical that these products have. So I try and go with the healthiest option, and I found that Arm & Hammer works great because it's aluminum free, fluoride free, it's paraben free, and it's still just as effective as all the other main brands. I also take this mullein extract every single day that helps keep my lungs super healthy. Hitting 10,000 steps for me every single day is so important because I notice such a positive change in my mental and physical well-being when I'm done. Getting a good sweat in, getting my heart rate up, and listening to a good podcast, book on tape, or meditation while I walk is so relaxing and also a good workout. And I'll also treat myself to a yummy smoothie at one of my local healthy food stops. <sighs> And one of the best healthy habits you can do is drinking more water. Before I get into my workout, I just needed to take a second and relax. Doing this position I'm in right here for 10 minutes is really good for de-bloating and promoting digestion. So doing this after every meal really helps your body. I like doing my workouts outside. I think it makes it a little bit more intensive. So I go into a 10 minute ab workout and a 10 minute butt workout routine. I do have personal workout routines on my own channel that I've posted, but I wanna make an updated version for you guys. So stick around for that. One healthy habit that I've tried to do every single day is taking an ice bath. And I know not everyone has access to it, but even taking a cold shower can be super beneficial. Ice bathing helps reduce inflammation and swelling. It relieves sore muscles. It aids in exercise recovery, supports immunity, improves mental health, and also activates brown fat, which is responsible for helping you burn calories. Like I said earlier, everything that we put on our body, our body absorbs. So I try and stick with the healthiest shampoo, conditioner, and body wash options. And for me, my favorites are the Native Shampoo and Conditioner and the Dr. Bronner's Peppermint Body Wash. What's even more important than working out is what you eat. Try and stay away from processed foods that have all of those super unhealthy seed oils in them. About two years ago, I did go completely gluten and dairy free due to allergy reasons. So I understand that everyone's diet will look a little bit different. But if you are interested, I can make a more in-depth video about what I eat in a day and sharing my favorite recipes with you guys. Now this may seem a little bit gross to you, but everybody has parasites. Some people more than others. And parasites really affect us from brain fog to grogginess to the dark circles under our eyes to weight loss issues. In other countries, it is mandatory to do this every few months to every few years. And the US is the only place that doesn't push it. There are pill options, but currently I am taking this powder form and I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty gross, but well worth it. Oh.
I'll spend the next few hours getting my work done, answering emails, reading my book, and I have this red light sheet that I try and lay on every day for about 30 minutes to an hour. And then when I'm done with dinner, I will make myself a sleepy time herbal tea to help me just wind down for the night. I drink some coconut water, which is a great source of potassium, which I'm deficient in. And since I have my sweet tooth, I end the day with my homemade chia seed pudding that I made earlier. This is a super healthy alternative rather than just binge eating the desserts you get from the store. So like I said earlier, trying to better your mind and body isn't just about working out. It's about making little tiny changes, making healthy habits a part of your daily routine. Something as small as using fluoride-free toothpaste or seed oil-free milk in the long run will help you so much. I really hope you guys took something away from this video or I was able to inspire you to make some changes. I know I don't have all the answers, but small changes can make a big difference. I'll see you next week.